Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Full Time FM. Hope you're having a good Monday and a good start to the week. We're looking at Gio Reyna from Borussia Dortmund. Transfer value 99 million. And contract is up in six months. Um, he's an important player to them. He's a good player. Uh, the problem is, when I look at him in the scouting, Arda Gula, Matus Kuna, Hakan Kalanogli, Rodrigo de Paul, Facundo Buenonote, and David Turnbull are better than him in the attacking centre mid role. In the centre mid role, he's 13 for McGregor and Turnbull ahead of him. Whole host of other players. Um, so, left midfield. Uh, I've got Hakan Kalanogli, Rafael Guerrero, Antonio, Anthony Martial, and then Reyna. But the problem is, we play with a left winger, so it's an attacking left mid. So he's then got Fafana, Kuna, Martial, Hakan, De Paul, and Guerrero ahead of him. It's how much he can improve. It's 45 grand a week. Um, 38 caps, 14 goals. That's amazing. Um, so, let's see. This season, 9 goals, 1 assist from 30 games. 23-24 season. Uh, from 32 games, 6 goals, 3 assists. And his average rating is pretty consistent as well. Um, this season, 24-25. 11 appearances, 2 goals, 1 assist. So, 130 appearances, 23 goals, 5 assists. <sighs> I mean, we can't offer him a contract because he's not out, he's not in January yet. Let's ask the agent. I'm delighted to you'd be keen on Giovanni as he's incredibly interested in a move to Celtic. Because of that mutual interest, here's the state of play. Go on, 89 million. Ooh. We're not going to pay Dortmund 89 million. He wants a wage between 37 grand and 48 and a half grand. Okay. And he wants to be an attacking midfielder with a shadow striker role in that number 10. Hmm. Um, it's difficult for me to offer any promises to Gio Reyna. Would your client be open to simply having a higher basic salary wage instead of those kinds of possible incentives? What incentives? Um... I'm just going to agree. Well, we'll have a little, we'll have a little nibble at him because worst case scenario, he doesn't do that well, and we sell him. And if he's worth ninety nine million, um, there's got to be some money in it for us, hasn't there? There's got to be something, something that. And I've been looking at some of your suggestions for a new Rochdale manager. Jack Ross seems popular. Um, John Hughes. Uh, John McGlynn, not a bad shout. Um, decent, very, very decent. Now, in the last game, oh, I played some uh, some less than first teamers, shall we say. Um, <laughs> so, they're not going to be able to play in this game. Schedule. Here we go. So, we beat Hibs 1-0. Daniel Kelly, the young 17-year-old striker, got the goal. Um, so that was pretty decent. Now I know you've watched the Liverpool game. Um, I think you've watched the Rangers game. I think you have. I think you have. I hope you have. Otherwise it was 2-0. And the last one was 2-0 as well. Um, so I think what I've been doing is I've been going to my squad here. And the players who... I felt a bit alienated. Um, 
I've basically left out. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't. I've played them. Uh, <laughs> played the entire team selection. So the players... There's only one alienated now, and that's Hakan. And there's no way he should be alienated, because he's my number 10. Uh, Taylor is unhappy, but he's going to be playing left back. So the rest of them are now concerned. Um, which concerns me. So Altai is going to be in goal. Then we're going to play Aaron's. Uh, right back with Datro Fafana. Where is he? At uh, right wing. Um, and then... Connor Hazard's going to have to be on the bench. So is Daniel Kelly. Um, so is Wamba Saka. Um, so is DePaul. So is Pepe. Miku Mikoko, we are going to play. Or should we play um, Mariano? Yeah, we'll play Mariano. That's our striker. Mikoko, I think, will be um, on the bench. As will Guerrero. Jean Claude Tadibo. And Cameron Carter Vickers. Because I think Vario's uh, suspended, isn't he? And I think Locatelli's suspended as well. So let's put McGinn and Arthur in midfield. Um, and then I think we're I think we're good Mikey Johnson, Liam Morrison are being left out there but yeah that's alright so there we go, Altai in goal, Aarons, Taribo, Carter Vickers and Taylor across the back, McGinn and Arthur in midfield, Fafana, Hakan and Martial playing behind Mariano and Carter Vickers all playing defender defend. I keep hitting that personalise and it keeps disappearing. Deep line playmaker defend for Arthur. Right. So there we go, team selection done. I think we're going to be good. I think we're all right. So let's have a little look, see how we do. Press one fight. And they got Victor Lindelof and Pau Torres. Do you remember that Pau Torres was supposed to be going Man United? I think we might have to just have a little look at him. Jorge Cuenca's there as well. Samuel Chukwezu, Kiko Firminia. There's a few players I recognise there. Villarreal. Zinedine Zidane is their manager. Wow, Zidane. Okay, Zidane's going in the thumbnail. Come on, boys. Pau Torres. 21 appearances, 1 assist. I think we look stacked. We look good. I, I fancy that team to beat them. Please, Lord, don't make me eat my words right now. <laughs> I just want to have a little look at Torres before the game gets underway. Oh, my days, he is good. 79 to 117 million. 6 foot 3. 16 heading, pass, uh, heading marking and tackling. Positioning, stamina, strength and 17 jumping reach. Yeah, he's pretty decent, him. Um, 27-year-old. You can see, I mean, this is a couple of years into the game, so in real life he's probably 24, 25 right now. Hakan Kalanoglu with a corner. Oh, Mariano at the back stick, as he usually does. Just puts that over. Paulo Dybala scored for Roma against United. Hakan looking for that back stick again. Martial will collect. Puts it in for Fana at the back stick. Aaron's on the 18 yard. Oh, he's at the quadrant. Is it the literal top corner? Hakan spoons it over. 
Oh my word. Martin Hilly scores for Arsenal against Porto. Tammy Abraham as well on the score sheet for Roma. Salah for Liverpool. Real Madrid losing to Benfica 1 0. So some interesting score lines. Mariano is through. Chips the keeper. Oh, it's chipped over the crossbar as well. I think we're going to encourage the team. A few players reacted well to that. Right, and. Hmm. That was a pretty boring first half. They didn't have a single shot on goal or on target. We had nine shots, one on target. So, pump fist. Um, you're doing well so far, keep going. Um, keep going, you have the ability to make a real difference. Hakan. Ooh, Hakan's not looking, not looking good. He's looking nervous. Oh, Mariano heads it to the keeper Ergakan. He's taking his time with this Ergakan. Matt Sarans brings it down on the right back slot, gives it for Fana. They're playing a very high line. Martial, I think, could get behind him if we switch to like a 4-2-4. Four, four. There's Greg Taylor. Dispossessed by Jackson. He wins it back, though. Pokes it down the line for Martial. Cuts inside to his right foot. Crosses the back stick for Fanners there. Oh, keeper makes a save with his legs. Carter Vickers wins that header. Right, not all the ball went over the line right there. Right, I'm thinking I'm going to move Hakan over to the left. Martial can go up top, but I'm going to play him to the left-hand side in between Mariano and Hakan. And we've got to have him as a um, Trekatista. Let's try something different. Let's see if that works. A little tactical change. Here we go. Hakan's going to take a corner. Back stick again. Mariano heads it to Ergakan again. You'd think they'd try a different routine, wouldn't you? Shouts. Let's encourage the boys again. Tadebo to McGinn, Carter Vickers, back to Tadebo. I think Tadebo and Carter Vickers are playing on the wrong side. Aaron's with a good recovery challenge. Because Carter Vickers is right footed. Tadebo seems to be. I don't know. More comfortable, I think, on the left. Here's Greg Taylor. Oh, go on, lad. Oh, he's got past Mariana. Let's just give it to Martial. Oh, he's found the top corner. First goal of the season for Anthony Martial. He found that little channel there that we put him in. That little channel on the left-hand side. It's good play. It is very, very good play. So, there's no point taking Tadebo away because he's one yellow card away from suspension. I mean, let him get suspended. We, we can handle it. Now, I think we're going to go from attacking the positive because it's 1-0 away from home. Don't need to be too mental. Um, Fafana looks tired. So, let's take him off and put Nicolas Pepe on. Um, Mariano hasn't really been great. Let's put Makoko on. 
Um, let's see. I hate it when it does that. It switches out. Let's see. Um, we can bring Aaron Wambasaka on for Aaron's because he looks most tired and he's on a yellow card. I think we'll have Aaron's Aaron Wambasaka just defending. Um, Arthur's the other one that looks most tired. So let's get McGregor on for Arthur. And we got one more sub. Hack and Kalanoglu is the other one. I'm fancying Guerrero on that left hand side because he can tackle as well. So let's have him as uh, a winger who supports. There we go. Right, let's see if that helps. Got some fresh legs on the field now. Our most tired players have come off. We're actually fourth in this league. Here's Guerrero putting one in. Let's head it away. Guerrero picks it up again. Oh, what a hit. Erga can with a save. Guerrero going on Roberto Carlos there. There's Bobby Carlos with a corner. Next to the two milkmen. I swear to God, they just look like milkmen. Football managers trolling at this point. And United have come from 2 0 down to win, uh, to be beating Roma 3 2. Here's Greg Taylor to Martial. Martial to McGregor. He's lost it. Samuel Chuck who uh, tackled him. Gerard looks for IOC off. Gives it back to him. Alberto on the left now. Being closed down. Jorge Cuenca. Ball's over the top. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, no. Oh, my word. Please be offside. Please be offside. We're going very attacking if you're not. And we are going to demand more from them. Goal disallowed. Thank God. Okay. Now we're going balanced. <laughs> Yeah, he's a mile off. There's all tied to Wambasaka, Taribo, Carter Vickers, and we're just going to uh, time waste because I forgot about that and be more disciplined. There we are. McGregor looking over the top for Guerrero to make the run fresh legs. Inside for McGregor again. Oh, that was a poor finish, McGregor. Erga can saves. There's still three minutes of injury time to play. Ball goes forward. Good header by Tadebo. Wambasaka wins it back. Nicolas Pepe looks for a through ball for Martial. Could it be two? Oh, he's hit it wide. Oh, too much to hope for. He could have got his second one. And his former club United are in second. Seville have won every game and they're in first in this league. Wow, Seville must have a hell of a team. So, playing Martial on that little channel actually helped. Nice work, everyone. They'll look uh, pretty happy with that, and I'm happy with it as well. So, yeah, still no idea how this works, but from the green space, if you like, that occupies Seville to Bayern, um, first and eighth, I think we go in some sort of quarterfinal, then semis and then final. But I've absolutely no idea how how many games we actually play. Um, I mean, we can't possibly, with 36 teams in the league, we can't possibly play 70 games home and away. You know, that's ridiculous. So, I, I have no idea. I've still no idea how this format works. If you know, let me know. If you know, you know. Uh, Marcos Leonardo at Nice is our player. Squad player and could still improve. Um, and apparently we're paying all his wages. Shit. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, 16 appearances. 4 goals. Um, three of them come in your way for Champions League. One out of ten league games. 
I was expecting you to do a bit more than that. So it looks like we're right to loan him out. So we get another 2.4 million for that win. Martial shines. There you go. And his morale's gone up as well. That's good. How are Galliardini and Kalanoglu alienated? They're taking a piss. Kalanoglu's just played. And it seems like I've got more players concerned. Ridiculous. Absolute ridiculous. Right. Let's see. Um, finances. Let's see what I can ask for. Board request. Um, D D D D D. Not really. Should we ask him to build a new stadium? Um. Now I can make a budget adjustment here because we did. Um, Grant Hanley went to Mexico, if I remember correctly. Um. And we did sell quite a few salon clauses, didn't we? So we raised a bit of money. We, we made, I think we made about six million. Let's see. Raul Torrente and Luis Fiorini both. Uh, okay. Where is Luis Fiorini? He's improving. He could do a job with us, him. Transfer history. Transfers out. Okay, 950 grand. He went to Cruz Azul um, in Mexico. Grant Anley, go and get in a, a suntan. Tete, in September, went to Man City for 67 million. Let's have a little look how he's doing. Not well. Two starts, five subs, one goal, one assist. But a good average rating of seven. Who's in their team that's keeping him out? So they got Phil Foden. Ah, so he's back up to Phil Foden. But Rodri, Silva and Haaland all need a rest. So it looks like Mares is still there as well. First touch twenty, but he's listed for two point one million. Two hundred grand on his wages though, and they've listed Tete, thirty six and a half million. One hundred and seventy grand a week. Oh my god. They were horrible the way they chased him. They just wouldn't let up. They kept chasing and chasing and chasing. Um, James Trafford. In real life is on loan at Bolton. Um, decent keeper. Taylor Howard Bellis. I think he was at Burnley in real life. I mean. They've got some strange transfers. I'll give him that. Stefan Hotega, the goalkeeper, German. Um, Morgan Rogers, decent uh, young lad. See, here's the thing, right? Outside of their bench, the squad's then young players, isn't it? It's not great. Other than James Justin, the fullback. Um, I'm not sure they've improved. They've signed Jared Bowen. So they've got Jared Bowen, Tete, Marid, uh, Riyad Mahrez, Cole Palmer, Alan Velasco. He was one of our wonder kids. Jack Grealish, Phil Foden, Kevin De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva. That's eight players that can all play on wide positions. They've just turned into Chelsea and gone... Full wingers. Um, yeah, so I think... 
I think we're doing all right. We look pretty damn good. We we do have a lot of younger players down here. Um, they will be getting sold. Let's uh, let's go have a look at my thing here. So age, yes, yeah, quite a lot of younger players. Um, under the age of twenty-two, I'd say at least twenty. And I think about fifteen of them will leave. Um, so the squad looks big now, but we'll be looking to make some money and getting some of these some of these clauses um, on some of the players. And obviously we've got quite a few new gens coming in, other than Mikhailo Mudrick, who we should get in 1st of January. So we don't need Tete. Um, he's joining us for 70 million. Oh, what what's happening? No, oh, we'd already signed him. Look, click to view. I don't want to do anything in case I screw that up. Um, so he joins us for seventy million on first January. I think we're just gonna stick to new gen signings, I reckon, um, and try to win Champions League with new gens. Let's see, uh, budget, I've got 400 grand in wages available, 9.42 million in transfers. If I move the wages into the transfer budget, I'd have 26.4 million. And if I move the transfer budget into the wages, I'd have 3.44 million. Which is about 180 grand a week more than I've got now. Hmm. So we're looking good. The one thing I haven't done this year is staff. Um, I haven't been keeping up with this. I've been asking for a lot more staff all the time from the board. But I really haven't done staff and I haven't done training. The only thing I do with training is to go to interaction, speak about praise player, praise recent form or conduct... Um, with Fafana, speak about praise player, training, there you go, improve his morale a bit more. It's literally the only thing I do with this. I don't put any training plans together whatsoever. There you go, Hack and Kalanoglu, morale's improved a little bit. I'm going to criticise Matthew Craig. Now let's go see if that's made any difference to Hakan. Maybe he is. He's wanted by Juventus. He's reacted well to our latest chat. And he wants to start more games. He started 12. It's literally Vardiol started 14. Kuna and Altai started 13. And then Hakan's in a group of 12 with Locatelli and Fafana. And... Um, Locatelli, Fafana and Hakan are both unhappy to not starting more games. What a joke. I think this game's broken. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much. I will love you and leave you. Hope you all have a great start to the week. Um, that's a pretty good result for the week. Uh, to start off with, good 1-0 away. I'll see you Wednesday, 4 o'clock. Remember, make sure you hit that like button. You're subscribed. You sure? Hit that notification bell and all that other random YouTube nonsense that, quite frankly, I don't think I ever do. I might drop a like now and again, but whatever. Anyway, I'm waffling now, so I'll see you all later. Take care. God bless.